What do you mean you still ain't back? No, no, don't bother. Just let him know I run again, okay? Yeah, right, cheers. Phil. Uh, you heard you'd been looking for Lee? Yeah, that's right. I've been getting a bit worried because he, uh, he ain't paid him good work, I don't know. That is not a problem, Phil. That is not a problem at all. Oh, you brought him, huh? No. <laughs> but I brought you someone else. And what's that? What does it look like? Well, it ain't my birthday, so uh, I don't suppose it's a present. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's time, Phil, no. You want me to do the numbers on this as well? Right. Oh, nice, isn't it? Isn't it? You know, you should be honoured. It's not that we'd leave a trust with a mortal like this, you know, but he's very pleased with the work you've done so far. Yeah, well, it must be a pleasure doing business with me. Especially as soon as I work with nothing. <laughs> like I said, that is not a problem. Here. Hey. Be gentle with her, eh? I've come for my motor. Eh? Yeah. I said I've come for my motor. Yeah, I know, I heard you. You can't, eh? What, is it not ready yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's ready, all right. Then what's the problem? The problem is that I ain't been paid for the work I've done so far. So I can just go back and tell Lady he can come back here in person, pick up his motor when he's paid for the work I've done so far, all right? Until then, that motor stays right where it is. Well, go on, then. Go and tell your mate what I just told you. He isn't going to like it. He isn't going to be a happy man when I pass on that message. In fact, I'd say Lee is going to be a very unhappy man when I tell him what you just said. What do you want? What do you think? I don't know. I'm with a mechanic. They're not a mind reader. I'll, I'll get a bit of bad news for you, Phil. See that money you're waiting for? It well, looks like you're in for a long wait. What are you on about? He's done a runner. Well, you better go and find him, ain't you? <laughs> not my job, mate. Well, in that case, you can cough up out of your own pocket. He's your partner, isn't he? Look, let's not get stupid. If you want your money, you find Lee yourself. I just remember I got your motor now, right? Now go and sling your up and find Lee, yeah? Nobody talks to me like that. I do. Hey, mine's a pint, Nudge. All right, Nudge. Yeah, okay. Cheers. Right. Hey, where's Grant? He's gone out somewhere. Do you know when he'll be back? Didn't say. Do you know anything? I've got the six times table off by heart. <laughs> Small one or that? Shouldn't you be somewhere else? Yeah, go out. Stop finding my dad. <laughs> I don't do that sort of thing. I think I'm just a deja vu. Because I've got the feeling you said that before. But don't try it on the new fellow, OK? Now, what are you still doing hanging around here? I want my car, Phil. What? I want my car. Listen, let me give you a bit of advice, all right? Don't aggravate me. Because I don't know. So, Grant, I want to see him when he comes back with it. <laughs> Enjoy your day. What are you on about? A wee breakdown you went to fix. You're a bit old for games, aren't you? <laughs> You're never too old, Phil. I thought I told you to stop aggravating right, me. I've got a proposition for you. I ain't interested. How about you hand over the keys to the car and I promise you, you will never see me again. You're really beginning to annoy me now, don't you? Look, know? I want the car. Yeah? Yeah. She's not going to learn, are you? It's you that needs to learn a lesson. Oh, just give me the keys, eh? the keys, eh? Oh! I told you. Don't aggravate me, all right? You are going to regret that. I'll make sure of that. Classy number, your bird, didn't she? I could really go for her. Oh, nice place you've got here and all. Nice and secluded. You could be real useful, you know what I mean? All right, where is it? Come on. I'm talking to you. What's that? Let's stop beggaring about. Where is my car? I'll put it somewhere safe. You what? Well, you don't want to leave it laying around, do you? I'm as much as like that getting nicked every day around here. Especially smart ones like yours. Very funny. Yeah. Just, uh, 
can't say remember where I put it. The only trouble is I don't have much of your sense of humour. Yeah, well, I think I wrote it down somewhere, but I can't remember. Now, if you ever go near Cappy Beale again, I'm going to kill you. You got it? Yeah? Yeah? Go on, bro. And just in case you ain't got a message. No money, no money, yeah? You've got a very funny colour. Are you feeling all right? I should get off on the bed if I was you. Make yourself a nice cup of tea. Thanks. Any time. I'll see you later then, Phil. Hey, you want to come with me? Well, hurry up. I'm late as it is. I don't believe it. What's up? Oh, that's terrific, isn't it? Don't do a thing like this. You don't think it was that bloke who was in looking for you the other day, do you? No, that'd be dark. They only know where I live. Anyway, that's all been sorted out. It's probably just kids or something mucking about. No, oh, well, this is all I need. Uh, uh, you go on, I'll clear it up. Well, would you? Yeah, go on, leave it to me. All right, well, see you later then. All right, see you later. Kim Bassinger queuing at the fruit and vegetable. Yeah, right. Just talk to myself, shouldn't I? So, yeah, it's a this effect, mate. Right? Yeah, depends what it is. Keep an eye out for anyone hanging around a cafe. Or anyone I don't like the look of, I'll just slap, shall I? No, I'm serious. Your mate Jimmy's saying come up with the cash? Nah, and he still wants his motor back. More trouble? Well, me and Kathy found the contents of the dustbin on the doorstep this morning. Charming. Yeah, well, I've trodden sewer out some more charm than Jimmy. And more brains. Yeah, still. Bottom line is we're still with the motor. Don't worry, I'm still taking good care of it. So you keep an eye on things for us? Yeah, I'll do what I can. I don't want Kathy dragged into this. Mate, it sounds like she's already in it up to her ankles. Oh, I convinced her it was just kids. Why don't we just go over there and sort him out once and for all? So just let me handle it, all right? Just give me a bit. Right. Yeah. How's Kathy? Oh, she's pretty shaken. Yeah, well, she was pretty lucky, you know. You seen a mess in there? Yeah. Is there anything I can do? Well, it's all done now. She think I'll be all right for tonight. Cheers, Mark. Listen, can you get away? Right? You know where we're going to go? I know exactly where we're going, yeah. What is all this? Anything I should know? No, just go out for a drive. Yeah. Cheers, Mark. Anything special in mind? No one knows Captain and gets away of it. Now you're talking. Now, let me handle it. It's between me and Jimmy, yeah? Not anymore. Look, I don't want to have all that war. Not with Kathy involved. So let's put Jimmy where he can't have Kathy. He's doing bird for, is he? All right, let's go and turn his gaff over. Look, I said I'll deal with it, all right? You just watch one back, yeah? Your show. Yeah. This is where it stops. Phil? Yeah. What's so long? I'll be with you in a minute. What's wrong? Nothing. What's happened? I told you nothing. I'm not stupid, Phil. You'll be telling me you walked into a lamppost next. Oh, I have. I want to talk with Jimmy. Oh, you talk with your fist, do you? Got a bit out of hand. And where does that leave me? Waiting on another visit from Jimmy? There'll be no more trouble, Kath. And I just got to take that as the truth, as I? It's all sorted now, all right? I don't even know I got caught up in this little feud of yours in the first place. It should never have happened. Is this what being with you means? Love me, love my enemies. I mean, what sort of people do you do business He's with? He's just one geezer. He's a complete nutter. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. It won't happen again. Look, I've never pried into your affairs. I knew I was better off not knowing what was going on, but this... Come on, Kath, these things happen. He owes me money, yeah? A lot of money. And what do you want me to do? Let him walk all over me? Well, I don't know. Put the law on to him. That ain't an option here. So the money's for something dodgy? Well, don't come into it. I've done the work and I'm owed. And that gives you the right to go around mob and to beat his brains out? If it comes to it, yeah. And what next, Phil? Petrol from my letterbox? A knife in the back? I mean, where's it got to end? She walk on herself. Rather never let her out her own, would he? Maybe she'd duck 
out without him realising it. No, it's me, Sharon, Phil. Oh. Uh, we found Frida out here, all right. Well, where's Grant, then? Why ain't here? We went out half an hour ago. I've been wondering where we got to. Yeah, take her inside there. Uh, I'll go and see where he's got to. But Phil, don't you think yeah, we just should... Just stay with Sharon. What's wrong? Well, probably nothing, but I'll see where he's got to, all right? What is it, Kath? What's going on? Nothing, I hope. Well, where do you got to this time of night? Look, here, look, take her. Oh. Just go back inside. Yeah, but, oh. Should I get some help? Oh. What? No, let Phil handle it, all right? Go on. Come, Frida. I'm coming with you. Well, I don't want you out here, all right? I'm going to take care of myself. But this has got nothing to do with you. As an it? Grubs! I'm going to the arches, all right? Just stay back, will you? Grant! Grant, you there? <laughs> Fill me in now. It's a surprise. I don't like surprises. Well, you like this one. What have you done? Just put a bomb under there? Yeah, sort of. You could say that. Well, I hope it don't go up in your face. How much longer? Any time now. You said that 20 minutes ago. Here we go. It's a joker from last night. Yeah, sit tight. Blind as a bat. So what are we waiting for? Yes, yeah, wait for it. Where did they come from? Dial a plug. You ain't telling me you grasped. Yeah. Well, I had it, didn't I, once I dragged Kathy into this? Well, I hope it ain't gonna become a habit. I mean, what if he talks? No, he won't talk. Well, what about the motor? It's got his old identity back. Yeah, and as soon as he gets on bail, he's gonna come looking for us. For me. And I'll be waiting for him. And when was this? He's definitely around, isn't he? Yeah. All right, I'll ring you back then. Cheers. Well, well, he's definitely in Glasgow. My mate ain't managed to contact him yet, but he will do. I've got to ring him back later. What happens then? Well, when we get older, Slater, we let Jimmy Boy know we're in touch with him, unless he behaves himself. He's looking at a nice long stretch. Get out, will you, Trace? That's all right, leave it. Might be my mate from Glasgow. Phil, I've got a spot of bother. In the shape of Mr. Jimmy Coogan. It's Jimmy. He's in the cab. Where is he? Did he hurt you? What? Did he threaten you? Did he touch you? What? No. He just sat there. I told him to go, and then he... Then he said next time it won't just be a brick. He said he was coming after me. I'm going to kill him. Believe it, bro. I am. I'm going to kill him. He's well away by now. Forget it. nothing to do with you. Can't be done. It's going to be all right. No, it's not. He said he was coming after me, Phil. It's not all right. Hello. 
Scotch whiskey, please. Are you stupid? Well, it must have been you've done business with your brother, eh? You must like me. Get him a drink, Tracy. Don't, Tracy. Just get him a drink. Tracy, get him a drink, yeah? You can't let it go. Let it go? Yeah, let it go. After what he did? Just leave it to me. We agreed, yeah? You asked for it, mate. Uh, no, sorry. You overstepped the mark, pal. You broke the rules. Don't give me that honour amongst thieves, rubbish. That went out with the dinosaurs. I'm gonna see that you and your brother, especially your brother, does a nice long stretch inside, OK? Yeah? Well, you tried, mate, and failed. True. You just have to go in for something else then, wouldn't you? Yeah? Like what? <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? Just finish your drink and go. Same again, darling, eh? <laughs> I think you better get in, though. Yeah, I'll do that. It's time to go, Jimmy. Damn it, stupid. Come on, make me. Throw me out. There's two, you're only one of me. What? Scared or something? Just get out. I'm not going. All right, then stay. He ain't getting another drink. On him out. That's better. We bit a bottle. Come on, throw me out. Well, you're wrecking yourself, don't you? Let's see what you can do. No, come on. Just walk away. Walk away. Yeah. Walk away, walk away Grant. We all know how yellow you are. When it comes down to it, you're all mouth. Is that no right, Grant? One of that big in the lockup the other night, were you? Another drink, landlord. I said, I want another drink, landlord. You yeah, come, come on, Andy! Come on! Can't see in front of a load of witnesses? Let it go. Let it go. All right, let it go. Relax. You stay away, man. I haven't done nothing. Stay away! Oh, 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 oh. Look, man, I don't know what your game is, but I'd walk out of here if I were you, because if you're open to get witnesses to say you were attacked, you're wasting your time. Because everyone in this pub will get what they call selective blindness. Do you understand what I'm saying? Thanks, I was just having something. No, 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 don't tell me. I don't want to know. Where, Cathy? I'll see you later, OK? It's all right. You won't be needing that. What are you doing here? I want to talk. What do you think I am, Jimmy? Stupid? Luke, this is getting us nowhere. Yeah, well, you started all this. It didn't matter who started it. I'm here to call time out. Yeah? Tell me back's to. No. Totally. Call that a day. And I'm expecting to believe that, mate. Yeah. I was a wee bit upset. Yeah, well, I would have been. Well, there you go. This whole thing's got a hand, that's all. And that's why you come and see me? Yeah. I'm going to buy you a drink. What are you playing at? Nothing. I've got you nicked, Jimmy. You're just going to swallow that, are you? Oh, I've got a good brief. I should get a baby probation. And you're happy with that, yeah? Yeah. Sling your hook. Look, I want to end this business now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a day. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. All right, Look. I have a wife and a kid. I don't think it would take you too long to figure that out. I don't want them brought into this. You think I'd have a pop at your family? I know you would. No, enough is enough. All right. Just got to drop that motor off. What's this, an old boys' reunion? <coughs> Grant, uh, sit down. Let me get you a drink. I don't want anything from you. It's all right, it's all right. You off your crust? No. He's up to something. I know he is. So what's all this about? Letting him think that I don't know that he is. Listen, do me a favour. When you've finished your pint, go out to the arches in the workshop, make sure nothing's happening here. OK. I'll Phil. stay close to Jimmy. Phone call. Right, cheers. 
Hey, you go, Grant. Hey, any hard feelings, eh? Nah, no hard feelings. And in fact, I'm really looking forward to doing business with you. And you're sure this is his number? Right, nice one. Top man, yeah. Yeah, I'll ring him then. Cheers. You know that, uh, that little job I was sorting out in Glasgow? Yeah. Well, if he's come good, I'll speak to the man himself this afternoon. Nice one. Did someone tell me that used to be your old stone, Granger? Not for a long time, no. I'll get the sip. You any the wiser? Nah, yeah. No. He's got to be keeping us here for a reason, isn't it? Such as? I don't know. What time can you ring Slayer? In an hour. And what if he don't want to play? No, I want to play, alright. Yeah, and if he don't, we're stuffed. When he speaks to Slater on the phone, it'll be Jimmy that's stuffed. I don't like it. I think I do. Now, you check the cap and the arches. Mm. They're both safe and sound for the time being. Or two, when I ask Nigel to double check on his way back to work. Yeah, I will do that. I can't see him trying anything on the cap in broad daylight. I can't see what damage he can do at the arches. No, but no, no. One for the road. Insist. You want to join in? What? A conversation. Do you want to join in? No, I was. We don't. Taking a real shine on it, man. Oh yeah, top man, top man. Hey, Nigel. Yeah. You going back to the video shop? Yeah. Listen, do me a favour. On your way past, check the arches for me. Yeah. Check it. Yeah, just make sure everything's all right. Why oh, shouldn't it be? Well, you never know, dear. I don't know what. We'll just do it with us. All right. Just as long as you don't expect someone to plant a bomb in there or anything. There you go. Listen, I'll be back in a sec. I've just got a phone call to make. He's making a move, isn't he? Could be. Whatever his game is, he's just about to start the ball rolling, I think. Did you see if there was anything missing? It's hard to say. At least I didn't nick the car. A car in a lockup. Well, there is now. A BMW. A BMW, but I ain't been working. Thanks, George. Where is he? You see you back in a minute. Come. What? Come on. Nice one, nice one. Jimmy's really gone dirty now, isn't he? Just shut up, will you? Look, we better leg it. The old biller on their way. Well, I'm trying to explain this way. No chance. Look, if we stay, we're getting caught with a red-hot motor. Just help me get it started, will ya? Oh, I wish I realised you were going to pull a stunt like this. He must have been onto the old bill while we were sitting around in the pub. Just stop rabbiting. I need the steering like that now. Well, you get out. What? Oh, I'll dump the motor. You stay here. So when the old bill arrives, everything looks like it's on the level, all right? You're going to dump it, yeah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everything all right? Were you looking for something or what? And you wiped the car clean, yeah? I just said I did, didn't I? Yeah, I was just checking. Especially the old bill were choked. Well, they weren't too happy, no. No sign of Jimmy? Nah. Well, when he does show, he's mine. You don't touch him. Now, this time, we do it my way. You want to get banged up, yeah? It'll be worth it. Look, I'm going to ring Slater now. You just stay put, yeah? Jimmy Coogan, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I thought you might be. Yeah, I, I can let you know where he is, but, uh... No, no, not now. No. Look, I'll ring you back later. Yeah, I will. Grom! Grom! What? We've got him. I've just spoken to Slater. So what happens now? Oh, we invite our mate Jimmy across for a little chat. And tell him what? We don't have to tell him anything. Slater can tell him. If he don't play ball, 
and he goes down. Well, who's a clever boy, then? Oh, glad you can make it, Jimmy. Hang on a sec. Surprised to see you two. Thought you might both have been inside. You and I've got some fun. It's called Bottle. It's what you have me got. I think not. No, not. Jimmy, come here. Got a little surprise for you. Yeah, Mr. Slater, I've got someone here I think you'd like to talk to. Hey, so what do you want? Two things. First, turn out your pockets. <laughs> what? I want to see what you got. Well, we'll have that for the work on the motor. The second thing is, I don't want to ever see you around here again. If I do, I think you're going to be looking at a nice long stretch. Look, this whole thing's a completely out of hand. I've got your address, Jimmy. And your mate Slate would definitely get out of hand if I give it to him, yeah? Uh, it's all right. Finish your drink, we're not unreasonable. I've got to make a call. So, what's the deal with Slater? No deal. He just knows where Jimmy is now. 